Hi everyone, Lolly here. Today I took a break from working on um, Halloween pieces. I've been working on Halloween I think since August and if you've seen my previous videos you've seen that I've done a few mixed media pieces and one large piece of our challenge I did with a co-worker who is um, also a mixed media artist and um, so if you haven't seen those go check them out I think I even outdid myself on those if you don't know and I didn't have a YouTube channel back then I also do woodworking and upcycling and things like that everybody does that's nothing new right so but today I'll just take a break and I kind of redid some pieces that I one that I had and two that I bought um, that are still drying so I haven't finished the top off because they're still drying but I just wanted to show you what I'm gonna do is kind of talk about it a little bit and then we're gonna put the pictures in to show you from beginning to end because I've kind of just been running out there and doing these really quick in between getting ready for the crazy busy week so um, you'll see in the pictures that these were uh, the old 80s brown candle holders you see them all the time I got them at Goodwill and then these pieces were the wood round discs that you could get they were unfinished and so um, I painted everything separately and then I glued them and then I clear coated them and I have a a jar of paint you'll see in the pictures it's called bohemian blue i love it and i've done a bunch of pieces with horseshoes um it's just like the perfect kind of blue for these the cowboy pieces that i did and also for the bohemian pieces that you want to do so you'll see the pictures of that um as well when i'm done here so um i took the little metal caps out of here i was going to put a top on but i might just put those um plastic candles that you can light up I always do my fireplace mantles so um, I may just leave that open um, anyway I painted them white just to give them a bottom coat and then I went over before the white was dry with this bohemian blue and it gave it a green a light green color you can see here and then when that dried a little bit I went over it with the actual um, and it's probably darker than this because this already had the white under it but um, then I just took a wet paper towel and I kind of just wet distress it and I just um, take some of the paint off like that. I do my pieces if they're for me just like I do my mixed media pieces and that's not neat and not perfect and not one color and has to have a little character so um, that's what I've done with this piece. These two actually. So. Um, uh-huh see that's what happens and I'm not even gonna take that out because that's what I get for trying to show you real quick so I can get ready for tomorrow but anyway so there it's not dry yet but that's e6000 I have in between and um, so glued those two pieces together painted them wet distressed them with the wet paper towels to take off some of the top paint and show that on the edges and then just lightly with a really dry white little tiny brush I just went over some of the edges there so that's those two pieces that you can now of course tell they're two pieces because it fell apart but um, it'll dry soon and I may put one more clear coat on it I don't want them real shiny so I might not um, they're gonna go on my mantle maybe with Christmas so I'm not sure um, so I collect snowmen, so um, I might put a snowman on top or just put them up there with the arrangements, I'm not sure. So I paid a dollar nine for each candle holder. Well, they were a dollar nine and it was blue sticker day, so they were like 50 something cents each. And then these, I got a four pack at the, um, Gosh, maybe at Goodwill. I didn't buy them new. Maybe at the Austin Reuse store, there was a pack of four that I got for like a dollar. And so, as far as that, I got this super cute little set of candle holders. And if I don't use them on the Christmas mantle, these are the colors in my room. Is the blue, and I have like a bird theme in there. And I thought about putting a bird here on the side, like the Tim Holtz um, wood cutouts, but. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them, so I didn't put any kind of embellishment on them. So there's the candle holders, and again, you'll see the pictures here at the end. 
this tray I've had forever. And it wasn't even brown, it's kind of a gray kind of color. I love it that way, but I've had it for so long and it holds everything on my table that I wanna have close by. It holds cardboard pieces, it holds the hole punch that I'm working on currently. I mean, it just holds whatever the project is that I'm doing right now. It holds scissors, so it's kind of had it. Um, so I gave it a light um, with a white, kind of a dry brush. I didn't even put a lot of paint on there. Um, went over all of it, left some, some of it brown or gray, whatever the color is, and. Um, I don't do the farmhouse look, so that's not the look I was going for, but I didn't want to paint it just solid white because that's not what I have going on either. So after I painted it, you'll see the dark wax. It's a Kiehl's dark wax that I used. Put that on there, let everything dry, and then I went back with some sandpaper and put that over it. And again, with the clear coat, sprayed that just a little bit. And um, during Christmas, because my studio is the dining room table and we don't use it and so when Christmas when everybody comes home I take all my stuff and I put it away for a few days and so this holds Christmas decorations or flowers or things like that so when it's holding my art supplies it's gonna look awesome and when it's holding Christmas I think it's gonna look awesome um, I'll also put in the pictures I also did a toolbox that my son made for me in high school years ago and it was unfinished forever, and I really did use it for a toolbox. It was one of the wooden ones, you know, the old-timey ones with the wood handle. And I just recently painted and distressed it as well, and it's on the table with the fall flowers in it. And I'll put those pictures in there just as a bonus so you can see the matching set that I'm going to have. So I hope you enjoy the video, and sorry it's not a step-by-step how-to. I think everybody knows how to do all of this. Um, this is just my break from doing another piece. And I love to do woodwork, so I had to go out and do something. I didn't feel like building it, but I did want to redo some pieces. So here we go. Hope you're all doing well. Enjoy the pictures. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Help my channel grow. Thank you to all my subscribers. I'm growing slowly but surely. But I don't have a lot of time to put in here, so I appreciate everybody that pops in here with me when I do have time to make a video. So again, everybody take care, and we'll talk again soon in the next video. Bye.